What's the future look like? Are you an optimist or are you a pessimist? Three, four hundred years ago, there were shepherds in the ruins of the Colosseum of Rome. And they must have, how life must have been to them, living amidst a, the ruins of a civilization that they not only could not achieve themselves, they could not maintain it or even understand it. They couldn't have understood any of the principles that gave rise to that. And I feel sometimes when I think of, you know, kids who are coming out of a school system that has taught them to denigrate this country, not to understand what it is a breakthrough, as a breakthrough idea and the last best hope, but instead they understand it as an instrument of oppression and all this intersectionality. And I asked that question of Milton Friedman once, and I hate to drop names, but I did have the opportunity for that six, seven years. We need a moment of uh, reverence for <laughs> Uncle Milton. <laughs> Uncle Milton. And he, he was quick to say, Pat, I was, Pat, I was always a, an optimist. I was always an optimist because we have something on our side, and that is people are always yearning for freedom. So he was an optimist when I asked him just that question, but boy, it gets, uh, uh, it gets hard to be some days. I have to remind myself of that day I asked Milton just the same question.